Hey guys, what's up? It's Redstone MC Man, and today I have a showcasing of my new combination lock, my new repo uh, reprogrammable combination lock. Now, this is the s um, I'll show you how small it is after I am done, but this is way smaller than my old design, and it's better than my old design. Um, my old design could only take one button push per thing, so it was a nine uh, button four digit combo lock but the thing was you couldn't like press a digit more than once you had to do like one two three four something like that this one can now take like four of the same button so this one's even better and smaller than my old one so i just wanted to show this off um see what you guys think of it anyway so let's get started so let me just uh right now here are just the things you need to know so uh if on meaning the torch if on um, there is stored memory so the memory I'll go over in a second this is the reset memory this is not the memory for let's say the combo password um, but I'll, I'll explain that in a second and then this says password set if on so if this is on then there's a password set and then this is the reset um, button reset password button so let me just set a password so let's uh, set a just an easy password so let's do like one, two, let's do three, four. Okay, that's pretty easy. So then you'll see this will turn on, and meaning that there is now a password set. So if again, um, and when you're setting it, this door won't open. You have to put it in again for that door to open. So now if I do it again, one, two, three, four, this door will open, and I can walk through. And then we'll close. And again, I can just come through, and then I'm back here. Now, all the memory is, is <coughs> the way that this system works is I had to have a counter, a memory counter, to count to four button pushes. And every four, it will uh, reset, because it's just the way it is. So basically, um, if uh, all this is here for is if, let's say, somebody's coming in, and they're just pressing random buttons, trying to figure out how to get in, and obviously they can't, because they can't and so then they walk away or whatever and um i actually hit four so that's why i did that anyway so let's say they press whatever one button or whatever so if this light is on all you do when you walk in is um if this light is on if you put in your password it won't work so you just need to press the reset memory and then that will turn off and then you could just um put in your password one two three four and then this will work. Then you can walk in. Anyways, so um, now let me show you how you reset it. It's really simple. Um, it's as what you would think. So you just press this reset button. <coughs> and it's not reset yet, obviously. What you do is you put in your original code. One, two, three, four. This door won't open, but that uh, light over there uh, will turn off telling you that there's no code stored in anything. So then you can put in a new code. So let's just put in a new code. So let's say uh, one, two, three, four. Let's hopefully I don't forget that. <laughs> okay, anyway, so now it's on. And um, again, if I want to get inside, I just put it in one more time. One, two, three, four. And then the store will open. You see? And it is order sensitive, obviously. So if I, let's say, did one, two, three, four, the other direction, nothing will happen. And also, um, the old password won't work. So one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure that was the old password. But anyways, it, it doesn't work. So um, so that that's basically it. So let me show you now the wiring. So this is the wiring, just this part here. It's um, it's really small compared to what I've seen. Most most people's uh, programmable combo locks are way bigger than this. So um, so I'm pretty proud of this. I know it is still pretty big, but relative to other people's programmable lock systems, it's not very big. And also, what's really cool about it. <coughs> 
is just the whole interface part because I've, I've seen other programmable locks where you know you can program it in the insides here or there's actually separate room to program it in which I find kind of stupid and no point being in here just everything you need is in here and you don't need to program anything else it's all in here so it's a really relatively small um, little system and you can see up here this is the this is basically the entire thing without any connections to any of the buttons. Um, you can see here that I added, you know, the house, and I had to add all this extra room. But it basically cuts off right here. And yeah, so that that's basically the whole system. I'm actually working on a smaller version right now that I'm going to be showing off very soon. So please, if you like this, uh, either subscribe to my channel or just keep up to my videos because I'm going to be posting really soon an even smaller version of this and I think also I'm going to be posting a download not yet um, of this but uh, I think what I'm going to do is when I post my smaller version I'm going to uh, make a new map with all three of my uh, previous <coughs> lock systems so people can download it and do whatever they want with it um, anyways, so yeah, so this is my new and improved lock system. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, please like, subscribe, or comment if you guys have any questions. So I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.